Hello. Today I will show how to repair these exclusive Bauer and Wilkins P7 wired headphones, if one side not working and do not have sound left or right side. It would be a real shame to trash these headphones, but don't worry, you're on the Tech Screw channel, and I'll show you how to fix these Bauer and Wilkins headphones. Start by checking that the sound on both sides do not appear when you move the cable near the 3.5mm jack. This is the most common problem when the sound missing. If problem is with 3.5mm jack, then simply replace the jack. See the previous video for how to do this. The second step is to remove the ear pad cushions and check the wire itself. This can be easily done with a multimeter. See the tech screw do it yourself school video for how to use multimeter for headphone repair. If the wire is fine, as it is in my case, then the problem will be more serious than changing the cable. To find out what's wrong with headphones, you need to disassemble the side of the headphone that doesn't give sound. Unscrew the screws, remove the information sticker if it's in the way, and unscrew the remaining screws. This is what the headphone looks like from the inside. Check with a multimeter speaker. It looks like the speaker is dead, it shows a very high impedance. Check that you can reach the speaker wires from the 3.5mm jack side of the headphones, that way you know that all the wires are whole. In my case the wires are 100% whole, this means the speaker driver is dead, this is the worst thing that can happen when repairing headphones, because few headphones manufacturers have a replacement speaker driver for sale. In this case we are lucky, because we can find an aftermarket speaker driver on the internet. Unscrew the screws as this board blocks the speaker driver, but take this board away carefully, so that none of the wires are damaged, as you don't want the extra problems of repairing these headphones. Remember how this flex cable is currently attached. Disconnect it carefully without damaging the flex cable socket. Move the board away and use a flathead screwdriver to take off the glue that holds the headphone speaker in place. Once all the glue is removed, try to carefully pop out the speaker. That's what it looks like, dead speaker. And this is what the replacement speaker driver looks like. I ordered two because sometimes aftermarket speaker drivers sound a bit different from stock speaker, if you think the sound is asymmetrical after the replacement. Noticeably different, change both speakers, because then the sound will be the same on both sides and enjoyable. To be safe, check the new replacement speaker with a multimeter, in case it is also dead, but no, this one is fine. Check that the new speaker fits where you need to put it. Unsolder the wires from the dead speaker. Just remember which contact had the gold-colored wire, which is the ground for the speaker. Then solder the wires to the new replacement speaker driver. Remember that the gold color wire is the ground, that solder to the minus contact, the other wire solder to the contact, that is marked on replacement speaker. Then check with a multimeter that the new speaker is now reachable from the 3.5mm jack. Ok, it is reachable. The speaker need to be glued with some flexible glue, it is important not to use super glue here, because if you ever need to repair the headphones again, they will be dead, if you use super glue, so use some flexible glue to secure the new speaker. Once the glue has dried, put the board back in place and screw it back on, don't forget to connect the flex cable as well. Put the headphone housing back together and screw it back on. Put the ear pad cushion back on, and now you can listen to your favorite headphones again. There can be two problems. The frist, the volume is different between the left and right side, this can be corrected with the balance in EQ. If there is a difference in sound between the old and new speakers, more bass or less mid frequency or other sound quality problems, then the only solution is to put an aftermarket speaker driver on the other side as well. If you found this video useful and learned something new, feel free to hit the like and subscribe buttons, so we can meet in other headphone repair videos. Thank you.